Coming up, we're going to be talking about a Shang-Chi sequel, plus a brand new Marvel series, and the FX brand being expanded. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's Tuesday, it's time to jump into today's big Disney Plus news. Let's start off with the big one. Disney has signed Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings director, Destin Daniel Cretton, to a new multi-year deal for Marvel Studios and also their Oxiv Collective, where he will be creating content for Disney's platforms, including Hulu and Disney+. Plus. He's also going to be working on a brand new Marvel Studios Disney Plus series, though we don't yet know what that one's going to be. That's in addition to him also working on another Disney Plus series, American Born Chinese. And the good news as well, he has now been confirmed that he's going to be directing Shang-Chi 2, which is great because I thought that was such a fantastic movie and really loving to see this kind of come about and him just making more content. So it's great to see this confirmed. But what is that Disney Plus series? I'd love to know. But let me know what you think it is in the comments below. We've also got some great news about FX, which Disney is going to be turning into a major global brand. Now, if you're in the United States, you might be thinking FX is already pretty well known. Well, internationally, it's less so. They never really used the branding as much when it was under 20th Century Fox. Um, and while they put the little logo on things, you know, it wasn't a major brand. But now, kind of, I think all the kind of the merger has been kind of complete with the purchase of 20th Century Fox. They've now decided to turn FX into a global brand. And we're going to see a big shift on their direct-to-consumer product and also on um, the television networks. But primarily on Hulu, what you're going to see is that um, FX on Hulu branding is going to be gone. It's just going to be called FX from now on. And this is going to apply to all of the series. It's also going to apply to all of the previous ones. Internationally, we're already seeing FX being used um, as a major core contributor to Disney Plus and Star Plus. We're going to be seeing over 30 new originals coming next year from them. And they've already created some great shows like uh, Reservation Dogs, American Horror Stories, and Why the Last Man. And they're just going to continue to be pushing them all on to Disney Plus internationally. And I think we're really going to see a great push forward with all of this. And I think this is great. I think FX is a fantastic brand, makes some amazing stuff. And I'm just glad now that we kind of know where this brand's going. You know, at one point I was wondering if they were going to like merge it in with something else, but now we know, which is pretty cool. This leads me on to my next thought about really, I think Disney Plus International is going to need a bit of a shift in terms of how they're using that star brand. Personally, I like to also see, you know, maybe you can scroll along and you get like 20th Century Studios. You're also going to get maybe like Searchlight, ESPN, and hopefully FX. Hopefully they're going to start making some changes because I think that star brand is so watered down. It's so, um, in, uh, you just don't know what it means. And also, they've got way too much content in there. Probably 600, 800, maybe even a thousand titles under that brand. It's impossible to find anything when you go into the homepage because there's just too much in that one there. I think they definitely need to spread it out. When you consider what, how much content is under like Pixar and Marvel and Star Wars compared to under Star, it's ridiculous. So I would really like them to start looking at this. Maybe this is something they might do next year and they can expand out and start using these brands a lot more. It doesn't make any sense to me why they're not using 20th Century Studios as a brand anyway. But I'd love to know what you think. Do you think Disney Plus should update and kind of change that Star branding? I mean, I still think they're gonna to need to keep Star for all the leftover stuff that doesn't fit within it. But, you know, putting everything under there just doesn't seem to be working. But let me know what you think in the comments below. In some international news, Disney has announced a brand new French original series called Weekend Family, which is going to be coming to Disney Plus in France from February 23rd, 2022. This comedy tells the story of the life of a brand new step family that meet up every weekend. But when the father gets into a relationship with a new partner, the weekend takes on a whole new term. This series will also be released around the world on Disney+. Plus. This kind of seems to be a real shift that they're doing to releasing all of these originals all over the place, which makes a lot of sense. And it's also part of the 60 European exclusives that they're making by 2024. It's all part as well as a quota that Disney kind of need to get their European content up. And so this is going to be one of those shows. But let me know what you think of it in the comments below. We've also got a brand new trailer for the brand new South Korean Disney Plus star original Snowdrop which is going to be coming to Korea on the 18th of December. It's also going to be coming out in Disney Plus in Japan on the same date. A few days earlier in Australia and New Zealand. Haven't yet had it confirmed when it's going to be coming to the UK or other uh, Disney Plus areas or on Hulu in the United States. But expect this again to start sort of going around the world as Disney really start kind of going in on all of their international content and making it available to everywhere. And especially with Netflix having so much success with their South Korean content, it makes total sense to be doing this. Um, this one's going to be a massive hit. I'm mean, just going by how much um, people are paying attention to this on Twitter. 
yeah, there's a lot of people interested in Snowdrop. And finally, Disney has announced that Disney Plus subscribers in the UK and Ireland are going to be getting the brand new ABC series Queens, with new episodes dropping every week from the 19th of January. This series is already currently available in the United States on Hulu, and it is already available on Disney Plus down in Australia, New Zealand, with new episodes dropping every week. It's all part of the mixed up thing where series are kind of dropping all over the place, not at the same time. So it's good news that we've had it confirmed what date it is. I'm going to wait too long, but let me know if you're excited about Queen in the comments below go check us out over at what's on disneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and i shall see you guys in another video laters i'd like to thank all of our patreon and youtube channel members for their support you can become a member from as little as two dollars a month and you get access to our weekly q a and much more